boats were designed by Alpha Fox back in the 60s and he was really quite well known for designing lifeboats. And in fact, uh, loads of his lifeboats used to find their way onto, onto many ships around the world. And he, uh, he moved uh, his designs onto, onto boats. And this is a very unusual craft. It, it does look a little bit like a lifeboat, but more importantly, it's built like a lifeboat. So just come this way, let's have a look. And we'll have a look at the damage and I'll explain what's going this on. This is the damage that's been happened. And what, what happened here is a random boat floating around in Portsmouth Harbour came along, thumped into the side of this and floated off somewhere else. A great, great shame because look at the damage that's been done. It's absolutely written this boat off according to the insurance company and frankly, according to us as well. And the reason why it's such a write-off is because when these boats were made back in the 60s, they were made using a cold mold process. So in effect, the boat builder builds a boat inside out. The boat builder and the carpenters all get together and they start laying up layers of wood, which you can see, and they cross these layers over the top, over the top until they build up. They press it into the, uh, into the mold itself, use steaming, steam and weights and clamps and all the rest of the materials and, and tools that you need to be able to create these lovely bends and curves. And eventually a boat gets built and they end up super strong. I'm 54 years old, the same age as this boat. And this is frankly, okay, it's got a few more scratches than me, but frankly, this is as hard as it was the day it was built which is brilliant but unfortunately also very sad because today getting a boat builder to be able to repair this sort of damage is really really challenging there's only a few boat builders around or carpenters that could do this sort of work and the cost of doing this sort of work is astronomic the cost of doing just that actually outstrips the value of the boat now we've not written this off the insurance company has written this off but it is our sad duty to actually recycle this boat and we are about to start doing that now You've got beautifully sculpted deck heads all the way down to the shoulder here. And then the top sides, all lovely sculpted work. And then down. And then, you know, you've got some you know, just, just really beautifully made. I know it's getting old, it looks a bit dated now, but this is all done properly. We've also got here and here, these are, these actually winch the two keels up. So you've got sort of wing keels on this thing that are like thick plates of metal that drop all the way down and they're controlled using these things here. So we'll take all this stuff out as well because I'm sure the association and members of the association have got boats like this may well need these sort of contraptions because you just can't get them anymore. And, and following our way through the boat, whoops, my hat. Um, look, look, I know, I know the, the deck head paint's coming down, but but nonetheless, you just don't get this sort of quality workmanship into a lovely little galley, lovely little bits and bobs that have been manufactured or indeed added, uh, added post build. But nonetheless, a beautiful little place, a little sort of wardrobe, I suppose. Then we've got some sails up front, which obviously we'll recover and offer them to anybody that needs them and so on and so forth. And, you know, it, it is a great shame. If you've got anything that you want from this boat, please get in contact with us really quick.